Hey guys, so welcome to episode number 18 of my horror game tutorial series. In this episode we're going to finish up the safe. So yeah, let me show you what we're going to do. So let me go into play mode. So now if I go to the safe and press E and put in the code, which is 1112. So I have to increase the number right here. You can see first the, fir uh, the safe canvas disappears. The second thing that happens is I have full control over my player again. Uh, I mean over my uh, character again. And of course the safe opens and I can't interact with the safe anymore. So yeah, this is what we're going to do in this tutorial. I hope you enjoy and I will see you in just a second. Hey guys, so now we're inside of the Unity editor. So let's start by opening up the save script. So let's start editing. The first thing we are going to do is we are going to um, put an if statement into this void, uh, into this void update right here, to check if we put in the right code. So how are we going to do this? In the last episode, I showed you how to increase and decrease these numbers uh, by pressing the buttons in the canvas right here. So this canvas. And then if we click on the increase and decrease buttons, we increase or decrease this numbers by one, right? Okay. So now in the update, which is called every frame, so it's called all the time, we're going to check if number one is equal to one. And so uh, this is uh, if you want to make sure that in an if statement both or all of the things you put in there has to be true before the if get e uh, gets uh, executed, then you have to put in this double and sign right here uh, to chain together multiple statements that have to be uh, true. This will uh, be a little bit more clear in just a second. So we put in number one equals one. And number two, oops, and number two is equal to one. And number three is equal to one. And number four is equal to two. Okay, so now we have this. So what this does is checks, uh, checks. If we put in the right numbers and the code for this if statement is 1112, right? So we have, uh, so if number one is equal to one and number two is equal to one and then number three is equal to one and the last number is equal to two. Uh, I chose this number because of the little riddle I made in the preview of this uh, project. So because you know the jack is the 11th card <coughs> in a deck of cards and uh, the queen is the 12th card, right? So th this is the reason I chose this code. So now if this is uh, if this is all true then we want to say um up here, we first need to make another variable, and this is going to be a public boolean opened, right? So we have this boolean to check if the save has been opened. And now, right in here, we're going to say opened is equal to true. And up here we're going to say opened is equal to, oh wait, no, not up here. In the start we are going to, uh, oops, that's how we write opened, sorry. Okay, and then in the start we say opened is equal to false. 
because we want to start out um, so we want to make sure this, uh, the safe is locked when we start the game so uh, open is false and then if we put in the right code open is going to be true and then we're going to check if open is equal to true to is equal to true then we are going to call a void or we're going to call a method which is going to be called public sorry it's not public it's just a void unlock safe and then in here we're going to say unlock safe we're going to call it and in here we're going to open the safe and we're going to open the safe by using pretty much the same code we did for the doors so we're going to just go to the door script if you don't have it open just open it up in here okay we go to the door script and then we take all of this or actually we just take those two lines copy them go back into the safe script and then paste them and now you can see uh, we are missing those two variables so we just have to set them up so the first one is door open angle and then if we go back to the door script you can see we have uh, this variable right here public float or do uh, door open angle we're just going to copy it and then paste it and the same thing for, uh, and we're going to do the same thing for the smooth so grab this variable and put it in here and save the script so now you can see this is working and now if we go back into the unity uh, engine So now if I go to the desk and press E and put in the right code so we know it's 1112 so we're going to increase it. So you can see the door opened up in some way and uh, you can still see the panel dis uh, didn't, dis uh, didn't disappear and I can't move around. So let's fix this next. So the first thing we have to check is if we go to the safe which is right here you can see that if we go to the rotation and change this up here to local make sure this is also uh, at pivot not at center you can see we want to rotate around the z-axis so if the z is, uh, is at 90 the safe opened up so let's put this back to zero so let's change that in the script. In the script you can see that we are rotating around the Y axis, which is in this case the wrong one, so we set this to zero. Or first copy the variable, then set it to zero. And then right here, so this is the X value, the Y value, and here's the Z value. We're just going to paste in the variable door open angle at the Z value. And now we save this. So now this is fixed. And here in the void unlock save. Oh no, we're going to do it up here. In if opened is equal to true. We are going to uh, grab this. Because right here we are locking the player in place. So that he can't move around. And here we're going to unlock him. So we are going to grab all of this oh sorry I just told complete uh, uh, something completely wrong up here we are locking the player in place and here is our method that um, is called or, or our if statement 
which is called when you press the cancel button, which is escape in our case. And here we are unlocking the player, so we grab all of this. And then we go inside of uh, here. So when we unlock the save, we're just going to do this. So what this does is first it locks the cursor in the middle of the screen. Then it sets the cursor visible to false. After that it enables our player controller again. And then at least it disables our safe canvas, right? So now let's go back into the game. And now if we click on the save and increase the number you can see it disappears. I can walk around and everything looks fine. The door also opens up. So here's one more error. You can see I still can interact with the door because its layer is still set to interactable. So as you can see this is not working right. So let's change the layer from interactable to let's say default. Okay. So up here, uh, I mean down here, where we open up the save, we are going to set the layer. So game object dot get component. This nee, or uh, sorry, game object dot layer, and then it's equal to. Zero. So what this does, it changes the layer of the game object, so which is currently interactable, to default. Because if we have a look, this is built in layer zero, right? So we're going to change it to the la uh, layer zero, which is the default layer, and then we can't interact with the door anymore. So, or with the safe. So, let's try it out. Down here, I just going to select the uh, safe. Okay. So now we're going to put in the number. And you can see the number, uh, the layer changed to default up here. And, um, yeah, so the safe is open now, and everything works fine. So let's clear the, sa uh, the search. So yeah, that's everything about the safe. The safe is working now, and um, yeah, so that's everything for this tutorial. As always, if you have any questions, just leave them in the comment section below. I will answer them as soon as I can. And um, please consider subscribing if you want to uh, stay up to date. Also, if you liked the video, just leave a like. And yeah, so until next time, bye guys.